Hello, welcome everyone to this another video and today I decided again to answer a few your questions. I've got a question actually from my uh, very very good customer. Hello Charlie. So he asked me three uh, really cool questions, you know, they are they are let's say not very simple to answer. Well, not very difficult. Let's have a look. So question number one, can I have a multiple sprints uh, within the same project? So, well, the answer is yes, you can. Yes, 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 you can, you can. However, however, uh, in my opinion, in my advice, is do not use that functionality because it is very, very, very difficult and is extremely confusing. So I would say it's probably better to have a Kanban for something like this and just organize Kanban and have basically a good configuration of swim lines, filters, plus the board. Yes, because basically, oh, I've seen this before, but okay. You know, it, it is it is possible to do it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it if you wanna if you really really wanna do it. You know, because there is something like parallel mode. Yeah. So let's basically go for uh, something. So yes, let's do this scrum for Dev Team. That's gonna be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna open it. And if we go to the backlog. Yeah, I can actually, well, I've got actually not a lot over here. And I'm not sure if I actually, okay, I can, I can, I can. Okay. So basically I'm gonna create a sprint. It looks like that sprint is ongoing. Yeah, and basically I cannot start the sprint because it's uh, by default is you can only allow, you can only have one sprint. Yep, so let's basically do it. Okay, and let's go be a little bit confusing because I know how to do it in the Jira server but software, oh dear, okay, let's have a look. Probably I have to pause the video. If I can't find it, I'm gonna pause it. So let's try to find it. Let's go into uh, settings, yes. So let's go back to the home. In server, it's very easy. You have to basically enable in applications, yes. Probably here is gonna be different. Jira software configuration. Oh yes, that's what we are looking for. So there is a parallel mode. Yeah, so it's really simple. So I'm gonna show you one more time how to do it. Basically go back to Jira, uh, to home, to basically settings, and now go to applications and Jira software configuration. Come on, dear. Why you're so slow? And just enable that parallel mode. And that's really it, you know, if I'm gonna go back now to home and select my project. Just like whatever, you know, because you cannot select that just for a like, single project need to be, this is a global setting. So if you go, for instance, to that, uh, to that dev team, yes, yeah, scrum for dev team. And if I go to the backlog, uh, it's no issues. Yes, I have to probably create a demo issue. Oh, but because basically this one is configured with the yeah, so I can start the sprint. It's gonna move me back to the to the backlog and I can create additional sprints. It's 
No. No issues. Okay, let's move into the different, maybe. Like this one, because I've been... This one is messed up completely, so... Let's start sprint. It's two weeks. Go back to backlog. So if I'm gonna move over here, so I think. And you can start additional sprint. So yes, it is a little bit confusing even to me. Uh, that's why I just, to be honest, I, I don't like it. But you know, if you if you think that is the way to go, why not? You know, that's the paramount. And please experiment and please just be careful with this. So yes, the answer is yes, you can. There's one. Can I have a, a transition restrictions with a simplified workflow? No. No, no, that's uh, that's not going to happen because, but that's the, basically the idea of the simplify workflow. Yeah, so in simplify workflow, you you can't basically change that. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, you lose that functionality. So in this case, unfortunately, you need to basically go to the settings and just change it. You know, but it's not a big big deal. It's not a really really big deal because you can um, very easily, you know, just like convert it to uh, to a non-simplify. So you're going to basically edit the existing one. And obviously, please do, don't forget to uh, edit. Oh, this is just a mess completely. <laughs> uh, that's what's happening actually last. I don't know really why it's like this. Uh, but yeah, it's a little, little bit more work. Geo decided to basically put everything into the corner. Uh, okay, we're good to do one more. So, yeah, I would say it's going to be like this. And like this. Yeah, now obviously, you know, you need to <coughs> adjust it a little bit. But, yeah, don't forget you're not going to edit uh, basically the status is because the secret is over here is in a transition yeah so you need to basically go over here and decide what you want to do or even you know if you think uh, that need to be delete yeah, we can actually delete that and right now we can actually organize it a little bit different one yeah so to do like to start progress or for something like this uh, all right, I have to basically save it. Yeah, but that's basically, yes, yeah, so you cannot perform this on the on the draft. You have to basically uh, publish it. Yeah, so if you publish it, I would say we're going to go back up. Uh, yeah, it's need to go back. And now you can start adding transition yeah so basically we cannot do it to do name start progress that should be fine now hmm it's interesting all right so basically it looks like it's not allowing me to add the transitions okay that's not. however I don't know really why it is not allowing me to perform uh, and especially I published the draft. Do you want to say the copy? Yes. This is definitely not a draft. Maybe it's a small bug on Majora, but anyway, that's how we're going to do it. So the answer to this question is no, you can't basically do it in a simplify. You have to uh, just convert it to a non-simplify workflow. It's not a big, big deal. Let's do another one. The last one. Can I set up rules? Oh, no. no, there is unfortunately no such thing in Jira. Uh, which is a shame, you know, because to be honest, it's a lot of... Uh, I've got actually a lot of, lot of questions. And this is actually very, very good. Very, very, very good questions. I've, 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 I've uh, a lot of my customers asking for something like this, especially 
if they are using service desk so if you if you are using actually service desk yes it is possible to add uh, basically on sla something like based on sla and it, and 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 it, it is a way to do it however however because you know if you if your jira is uh, like you know i don't know 10 dollars no, 10 users or 20 users that's not in my opinion big deal because there is absolutely fantastic uh, plugin which I'm using a lot which is called automation and what is very very good it is it works for server and for the cloud you know because like <laughs> from my even previous videos few like I will say what I told you before few very 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 good plugins mm, they're only on server right now you know but you know automation is like my top three uh, best best plugins and uh, yeah you can actually do whatever you want you can do what you, whatever you want it is extremely flexible and you can it's very easy actually to set something like this even you know you can have like sms slack alert something like this if it's uh, for a very very long time sits in this doing anything yeah however uh, there's just that visual reference especially for kanban if we for instance go back into jira and we're going to open a project and right now I'm gonna say let's go for Kanban uh, which is gonna be like this one is this one is actually a fine so I only know just like the visual reference that there is there is because that that dots yeah it does like they if they are like for a very very excuse me long time you can see there are like a lot of them so no update been done for uh, 23 days and you know this just Jira is just indicating uh, which is pretty cool but there is no such thing building into jira like you know if something sits over here it will basically like automatically we move to something like blocked or or, or even done um in kanban but if you have a service desk yes it is uh, it is possible it is for instance like if you uh, have a request from somebody and no was no response for seven eight which is actually very normal that's probably most of the support uh, tickets that how it how it works Yes, it is possible to set an automation and after, you know, like whatever, seven days or, or whatever, 20 days in a service that that issue will be, for instance, moved to done or something or it's something like this. All right. I think that's going to help. Uh, that's going to help you a lot. A lot. I'm hoping it's going to help, help you a little. Oh, and of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. A uh, few new videos are coming soon. Thank you for watching.